Hey, and welcome to Learning with Laser. My name is Allison Laser, and I am excited to be talking about four-year-old developmental milestones with you today. At the end of this video, I've got a really big announcement, so stay tuned. So as we've talked about in the previous videos, developmental milestones are milestones created by the CDC generalizing the skills which children should be developing by certain ages. When you look at four-year-old milestones, you're not expecting these to be met by four. You're expecting these skills to be developing during their fourth year of life. So as we get started with these milestones, remember, these are skills your four-year-old should be working towards. I'm just gonna go through a few of these milestones and give you a couple fun ways to um, work on these skills with your child. Let's get started. Four-year-olds enjoy doing new things. This means they need to be introduced to new things frequently. While it's easy to kind of get caught in a rut of they play with the same toys and they do the same thing and they go to the same places, four-year-olds really love that new adventurous um, spirit that they're developing. Do this by trying out new things with them. Try a new sport, whether it's just playing in your backyard or going to visit a new place. Maybe it's allowing them to do some cooking in the kitchen with you as opposed to just typically watching. Four-year-olds would rather play with others than by themselves. So at this stage in their development, they're really understanding that play and that playing together, as opposed to parallel play where they're playing near another person and maybe in a similar way, but this time they really want to interact. In order to foster this, you may be playing more than you were playing with your child in the past. They may really enjoy wanting their older siblings to play with them or their younger siblings, even if those siblings aren't as willing. In this case, foster playdates for them, set up playdates with friends of similar ages, or be intentional with playing with them. Set a time where this is the time where I'm going to sit and play with you today. Four-year-olds are still struggling to tell the difference between real and make-believe. Now this can be really tricky, but I recently was talking to a friend who said they've been playing with puppets a lot. And the puppet is a dog and Kids know that dogs say woof woof, but when the puppet's on their hand, it's not saying woof woof unless they're saying it. So through this little bit of play with puppets, they're able to get the idea of real and make believe. This is not a real puppy. It's a pretend puppy that I can make say woof woof. Another way to do this is as you're watching TV shows and it's got a dragon and a fairy in it, talk to them. Are these things real or are these make believe? Make believe means it's not real. We're never going to see it out in public but it is something that we enjoy watching. Have conversations about things that are real and things that are make-believe. Four-year-olds like to talk about their interests. Their verbalization, their communication skills are really coming to um, a heightened perspective. You're gonna start seeing a lot more conversation. And the best way to foster this conversation is to ask about things they like. What's your favorite color? What did you like today at school? What was your favorite part of the movie? Ask questions that allow them to talk more about the things that they are interested in. Four-year-olds are able to name some colors and numbers. Now this doesn't mean that they're going to consistently be able to look at number three and number seven and know that it's three and seven, but they're going to get the idea that these are numbers and they're going to start connecting those numbers with the, with the counting that they've been practicing. The best way to do this is by providing written numbers out for them. Have numbers visible, whether it's a number puzzle or a game that's got little number um, magnets with it. Colors, colors are really simple. Every time you see colors, talk about colors with your kid. Four-year-olds understand the idea of counting. Now, as a former pre-K teacher, it is expected by the end of 4K that children are counting pretty much to 20 and able to point and count. However, developmentally, that's a lot for them. So instead, we want them to understand the idea of counting. We want them to look at objects, have this fun pop it, and be able to go one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. While I didn't do it exactly correct, while I didn't point and, and touch each object as I said the correct number, and I didn't even say the numbers in the correct order, I demonstrated the idea of counting. Four-year-olds understand the idea of same and different. Now this is an abstract idea. This idea takes a lot of conversation for your four-year-old to actually understand. So have these conversations. Oh, you've got two socks, they're both green. Are they the same? Yes, yes, they are the same. 
oh, you grabbed a light green sock and a dark green sock. They are both socks. They are different socks. They are different colored socks. Have conversations about things that you're seeing, whether you're at the grocery store or in a restaurant, whether you're just looking around your house or talking about a show, or maybe even heights if people in your family. Oh, your little brother, is he the same as you? No, he is smaller than you. You are different. Or maybe your friend comes over to play. Oh, let's stand together. Look at each other in the mirror. Are you guys the same? Yes, you are the same. Way to go. Four-year-olds are able to use scissors. Scissors are scary. We've seen the bad hair jobs. We've seen the unfortunately hemmed clothing because scissors are scary. But the only way for four-year-olds to get strong in using scissors is to put them in their hands. So as much as it scares you, put scissors in your kids' hands. I always start off with non-bladed scissors. These are bladed, but there are plastic scissors and give them Play-Doh because it's not something they can really ruin. And those bladed scissors, those non-bladed scissors aren't gonna cut much, but they will cut Play-Doh. And then slowly introduce other types of scissors as well. Make scissors a tool, not a toy. Have a designated time and place to use scissors. Make scissors something they have to ask for and not something they just have easy access to. That way they learn to respect scissors and you'll see a little bit less of those wacky hair jobs. Four-year-olds can copy capital letters. They are able to look at the capital A and right next to it, try to copy it. Now they may not know what that letter is yet, but they're able to draw lines intentionally and focus on the different letters that they're writing and the shapes that make those letters. Do this very simply. Use the old um, magnetic boards. Use whiteboards. Have letters out and have them make them with Play-Doh or write them in sand. Practice this just by, by having them copy shapes or tracing different pictures. All of these fine motor skills will help their hands, which will help them when it actually comes to writing their letters. Four-year-olds can tell you what is going to happen next in a book. That means that you are reading frequently with your four-year-old. You are reading stories repeatedly over and over and over again until you are sick of them. But the best part of this is you may get sick of that story, but if you've read it enough times, you can look at your child and say, hey, hey, hey. I'm not gonna read this book today, you're gonna read it to me. But I don't know how to read. Oh, that's okay, you know the story. Open the book and tell them the first page without reading the words. Cinderella was cleaning the house. Then turn the page and wait for them to tell you what's happening in the pictures. Since they've read the story numerous times, they know the premise of the story, they are able to tell you the story by looking at the pictures. Then continue this by asking them about the story later without the pictures to refer to. This, this gets them sequencing different parts of stories and remembering first, then, next, and last in a story. Lastly, four-year-olds can stand and hop on one foot for two seconds. As a former pre-K teacher, I can say that developmentally, this is normal. However, a lot of the 4K assessments ask kids to stand or hop for six to 10 seconds. The best way to practice this is simply by doing it with them. If you're waiting in the grocery store line, ask them to hold onto the cart and pick one leg up. They're still holding onto that cart, but they're getting the idea of picking that leg up and balancing their bodies. Or go outside and with chalk, draw circles and squares and triangles and stars and hearts, and then ask them to hop to a certain one. And when they get to it, Stand on one foot for 10 seconds and balance, or two seconds and balance, and add to that time. Use this activity as a good transition between things when you need to fill that time a little bit and their bodies are a little wiggly. It's a great idea. So these are just a few, very few, four-year-old developmental milestones. And I've covered them very quickly with very short snippets of ideas on how to practice these skills with your kids. But Tuesday, February 22nd, Tuesday, if y'all heard, I am launching my first mini course. This mini course is all about four-year-old developmental milestones coming from myself who has worked with 4K for almost 10 years. And I have really learned the ins and outs of what four-year-olds need and what works to help them develop and grow 
and the skills that they're really going to need by kindergarten, which kindergarten is a lot more strenuous than it used to be. So if you are interested in checking out this mini course, I am doing it at a special price with a one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching call for you of $49.99 and it is on our website, learningwithlaser.mykajabi.com. So feel free to go check it out. Like and subscribe to this video. And if you've got questions or comments, please drop them down in the comment box and I look forward to continuing the conversation of growing your little learner with you. Four-year-olds are able to use scissors. Scissors are scary. We've seen the bad hair jobs. We've seen the unfortunately hemmed clothing because scissors are scary. But the only way for four-year-olds to get strong in using scissors is to put them in their hands. So as much as it scares you, put scissors in your kid's hands. I always start off with non-bladed scissors. These are bladed, but there are plastic scissors and give them Play-Doh because it's not something they can really ruin. And those bladed those non-bladed scissors aren't gonna cut much, but they will cut Play-Doh. And then slowly introduce other types of scissors as well. Make scissors a tool, not a toy. Have a designated time and place to use scissors. Make scissors something they have to ask for and not something they just have easy access to. That way they learn to respect scissors and you'll see a little bit less of those wacky hair jobs. Four-year-olds can copy capital letters. They are able to look at the capital A and right next to it, try to copy it. Now they may not know what that letter is yet, but they're able to draw lines intentionally and focus on the different letters that they're writing and the shapes that make those letters. Do this very simply. Use the old um, magnetic boards. Use whiteboards. Have letters out and have them make them with Play-Doh or write them in sand. Practice this just by, by having them copy shapes or tracing different pictures. All of these fine motor skills will help their hands, which will help them when it actually comes to writing their letters. Four-year-olds can tell you what is going to happen next in a book. That means that you are reading frequently with your four-year-old. You are reading stories repeatedly over and over and over again until you are sick of them. But the best part of this is you may get sick of that story, but if you've read it enough times, you can look at your child and say, hey, 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 I'm not going to read this book today. You're going to read it to me. But I don't know how to read. Oh, that's okay. You know the story. Open the book and tell them the first page without reading the words. Cinderella was cleaning the house. Then turn the page and wait for them to tell you what's happening in the pictures. Since they've read the story numerous times, they know the premise of the story. They are able to tell you the story by looking at the pictures. Then continue this by asking them about the story later without the pictures to refer to. This, this gets them sequencing different parts of stories and remembering first, then, next, and last in a story. Lastly, four-year-olds can stand and hop on one foot for two seconds. As a former pre-K teacher, I can say that developmentally, this is normal. However, a lot of the 4K assessments ask kids to stand or hop for six to 10 seconds. The best way to practice this is simply by doing it with them. If you're waiting in the grocery store line, Ask them to hold on to the cart and pick one leg up. They're still holding on to that cart, but they're getting the idea of picking that leg up and balancing their bodies. Or go outside and with chalk, draw circles and squares and triangles and stars and hearts, and then ask them to hop to a certain one. And when they get to it, stand on one foot for 10 seconds and balance, or two seconds and balance, and add to that time. Use this activity as a good transition between things when you need to fill that time a little bit and their bodies are a little wiggly. It's a great idea. So these are just a few, very few, four-year-old developmental milestones. And I've covered them very quickly with very short snippets of ideas on how to practice these skills with your kids. But Tuesday, February 22nd, Tuesday, if y'all heard, I am launching my first mini course. This mini course is all about four-year-old developmental milestones. Coming from myself, who has worked with 4K for almost 10 years, and I have really learned the ins and outs of what four-year-olds need and what works to help them develop and grow 
and the skills that they're really going to need by kindergarten, which kindergarten is a lot more strenuous than it used to be. So if you are interested in checking out this mini course, I am doing it at a special price with a one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching call for you of $49.99 and it is on our website, learningwithlaser.mykajabi.com. So feel free to go check it out. Like and subscribe to this video. And if you've got questions or comments, please drop them down in the comment box and I look forward to continuing the conversation of growing your little learner with you.